guys, Katie here again, continuing our quest for mite eradication. <laughs> um, so to get rid of Demodex face bites. Um, so if you are new to my channel, um, please definitely check out my other videos. You can see my struggle with Demodex face mites um, and, and remedies and things I've got to um, e eradicate and give you relief. And those of you that are returning, thank you so much for the support. Um, I will keep doing these videos. I'm getting um, a, a good response from people. Um, so please give me a like if these these um, remedies help you. Um, I, it's nice to know that you know uh, that I can help people. So please um, uh, subscribe and give me a like. And I know I'm on the right track. Um, so I'm going to jump straight into this one. Um, if you would, if you, as I said, if you are new to my channel, check out the other videos. You can see my struggle and, and hear my backstory. Um, but those of you that have already heard it, let's get straight on with it. So today I want to talk about um, bath treatments to help eradicate mites. And this, as I've said before, guys, in other videos, bath treatments, bath, bath bathing um, in, a, in a certain way with certain products, will really, really help eradicate mites, okay? Um, not just the, the cleansing techniques um, that, that you know I've said in my other videos, it really is a process all together and diet, everything, it all goes together. Um, so the first thing you need to do with your bath treatments, um, and it is actually start with a clean body. So you actually do need to have a shower first. Um, have a shower, cleanse your skin, and I've talked, talked about this in my other videos, the best things for cleansing are, um, I, I found are Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap um, is one of them. This is absolutely fantastic because it is a um, like a suffocant to the mites. They basically, um, uh, it, it, the oil in here, the oils and things suffocate them um, and they die. Okay, I, I, this works so well for me, face, hair, body, everything. Cleanse everything first, um, either with Castile soap. Peppermint was the one that really worked for me. Um, I know a lot of people in other videos talk about tea tree oil, but peppermint for me was 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 better for me than tea tree. And the other thing really good to cleanse with is sulfur soap. Okay, um, and I buy these in 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 big big like big big bags of them off of um just Amazon or, or eBay. Um, you can even get them in the chemist. Um, but sulfur soap, um, again, and I talk about this in my other videos, um, the mites hate sulfur, absolutely hate it. Um, and garlic as well, obviously garlic, sulfur based. And I talk about that in my, my other, my diet videos about eating garlic, okay? Um, so cleansing with, with sulfur soap, um, face, um, body, okay? Hair, even everything in your ears, um, and you can even actually leave that on overnight as well, the sulfur soap, leave it on and it just draws, you know, it just draws the mites out because they, um, they can't stand the smell, okay, they come out and then they die, all right, um, that's another good little thing, but um, let's get on with the bath treatments and we can talk about other hair thing, treatments in another video. Um, so cleansing first, you need to start with a clean body before you jump into the bath, okay. Um, so cleanse, strip down everything. You don't want any oils or, or anything, any um, uh, any dirt on your skin with, with, with whichever product you choose. And the way you have your bath, okay. So there's a couple of different things you can do. Um, and again, this took me a while, took me about two years to work out these remedies, guys, um, for those of you that are new. Um, and, and again, I'm not a doctor. I say this in all my videos. I'm not a doctor. I have no medical training. Um, but these are just remedies that have helped me eradicate mites. So the first one that made a big, big, big difference, okay, is actually um, uh, magnesium flakes. Now... This took me a while to, and I actually, this is just a big one I get from Costco, okay, um, but magnesium flakes, um, you can get them anywhere. Now, the other, magnesium flakes, you might have heard of Epsom salts, okay? Epsom salts are something I had a lot of, um, I was reading a lot of blogs and things about, about mite eradication from other people, and I had a lot of, um, a lot of people list that they had success with Epsom salts, so I was trying it out myself, having baths and things, and nothing was nothing was happening. I couldn't see any any benefits. Um, I, I didn't feel like they did anything. I, the, the, the mites was definitely still there. I could still feel them biting me. Um, didn't clear anything up, and I, I I thought, well, stick with it. You know, maybe it's a process. So stuck with it. 
then I would t even tip more Epsom salts in and I couldn't figure out I, I just could I got no I got nothing from it guys it, it didn't help me but I thought there has to be something to this because if a lot of people keep saying it why is it not working for me so what happened was I, I kept researching and I figured out that Epsom salts obviously are magnesium okay they're magnesium sulfate now the magnesium flakes however okay magnesium flakes are magnesium chloride okay now magnesium chloride is actually three times stronger in magnesium than magnesium sulfate the epsom salts this was a, a turning point for me now when i discovered these this made a lot of sense okay now if you think about it magnesium is a drawing agent anyone that's done detox diets um, they include magnesium because magnesium draws toxins out of the skin okay draws them out um, and the other thing I've, I, I found too was there's this little ointment that nurses and doctors use you can actually even buy it I think in the chemist now these days um, which is magnesium based and you actually put it on your skin if you have a splinter of something like if you get glass or something in your in your hands or feet or like whatever and the magnesium is a drawing agent it pulls out the the foreign object draws it to the surface so that you can pull it out with tweezers okay so that clicked with me the magnesium okay i thought there's got to be the, this is the thing this is what it is this is how it gets mites out because the well the epsom salts apparently because it's drawing but because i was so heavily infested um and if you look again look back at my videos you'll see my face in my my, my picture my pictures video I was so heavily, they, they were so deep and inf like infested in my, um, in my skin in little tunnels and like nests, like nests of these things. Um, that's why the, I think the, the Epsom salts, they just didn't work because they weren't strong enough. I was so heavily infested that the, the magnesium flakes, the, the magnesium chloride, would had such a better drawing agent to it and it really pulled it really helped it pulled the gunk out of my skin okay um, I would sit in the bath okay with this stuff and after I'd be in the bath for you know however long it wouldn't happen straight away it would be closer towards the end of the bath I had black black dots and if this has ever happened to you please let me know because I'd love to know if I'm, I, I just hope I'm not the only one you know you whenever something horrible happens you think God oh, please tell me I'm not the only one um, but that that is how i knew it was working it was these dots these black dots it must have been it, it's the mites right it's the mites these black dots would would be littered all through the bath all right and they'd just be all through the bath but it it wasn't till i'd been in the bath for ages and it's obviously pulling these things out of my skin okay and i'd wash them i'd have to get up and just wash them watch them go down the plug hole like go down the um the drain it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Um, but I'm, I'm telling you these guys because I want to be vulnerable and I want... There's no point coming on here and making it all sound pretty and whatever. It's not pretty. It's the most horrific thing you'll ever go through. And I, I hope I'm helping someone because, you know, it, it's the most horrible thing to, to experience yourself. So if that happened to you, I'd love for you to let me know. Um, just in the comments below, please let me know um and and just give me a shout out and um just let me know it you know if it was something else that you experienced um because i saw these things they were black the, the bath was littered with black dots so the magnesium i found really worked okay so the way i would have my magnesium bath is jump in the water now this is the other thing which it took me a while to work at this out because um you can read about all this stuff, but it's not till you find that one little bit of information that makes it click and it all works together all of a sudden, okay? I was, again, it took me a while to get onto the, as I said, I was doing the Epsom salts first. Then when I found the magnesium flakes, it made a big diff, much more of a difference. But what upped the ante even more was I read somewhere um, that you have to stay in the bath. And again, this I didn't figure out straight away. It took me a while. This little tip, you have to have the water, um, lukewarm first of all when you jump in um because if it's too hot it kills um off the magnet like the magnesium doesn't uh, doesn't draw out really well it does something to the the um the chemical compound of it i don't know it it, it affects the actual magnesium 
So you don't want it, it to be, um, the bath water can't be too hot, okay? Lukewarm bath water, first of all, was the first tip. Pop your scoops in. Now, the, the, this big, like this container says to put two scoops in. So because I was so sick, I would put four or five, okay, when I was having really bad um, outbreaks with the mites. So up the ante, as I said in my video, always up the ante when you're sick a little bit. So maybe four or five scoops, okay, um, instead. And this is the other big tip, is you have to stay in the water for a minimum of 35 minutes, but a maximum of 45 minutes, okay? That's the sweet spot. And the reason that works is because 35 minutes is the minimum that you need for the magnesium to actually fully absorb into the skin, okay, correctly. If you get out before that, it doesn't, it hasn't had time to penetrate in, okay, because your pores and everything need to open up with the heat and like let it get through. If you stay in the bath longer, however, than 45 minutes, so you want to be minimum of 35, if you stay longer than the 45 though, all those toxins that it starts to draw out um, will come back in okay that's what worked for me so i'd stay in the bath for about 45 minutes and then i would get out okay um if you are and that's when i'd see all those black floaty little bits of black things and i knew there were mites because if i've already gone in the bath clean I've, I've already had a shower and i've cleansed it all and got it all off washed everything washed my hair everything where are all these little black dots coming from now okay they're coming out of my bloody skin okay mites okay to like the to like the toxic you know the toxins everything it's it, it's it's pulling all the, the gunk out so the magnesium was was excellent okay but that's the that's the sweet spot so lukewarm water okay only tepid water and obviously by the time you sit in there for 45 minutes it's already going starting to go cold okay so that's a little bit tricky you might have to just put in you know you don't again you can top up the water a little bit you don't want it to be um to, to be cold cold but at the same time um it can't be hot okay so you can kind of adjust it a little bit as it goes so it's not um not getting too cold for you but it will start to cool off obviously by the time the 45 minutes is up okay so um uh so that that's the thing with the magnesium okay and when you're sick okay as i've said do those um as much as you can okay so even if you do them every day for a week or something okay just to give it a good whack into your skin okay um or what you can also do and this is what i did this is the second treatment i did was um what i call my holy trinity mix okay which i made this little cocktail okay so again i'd have a shower first so i'm all clean with my my castile soap have a shower wash everything and then i would the other treatment i would do this is the second one now is my holy trinity of my favorite which i talk about in every video my favorite favorite thing for my eradication is borax um whether you eat it or apply it topically or bathe in it now i'm going to show you borax salt himalayan pink salt i found worked the best for me okay and bicarb okay we three simple ingredients you can buy in the supermarket okay my holy holy trinity mix so I would mix um, predominantly salt, pink salt. Um, I would probably do like maybe three cups of salt, three cups of, of, of and you can use um, sea salt. That doesn't have to be pink, pink salt, but, but I like that the pink one seemed to work better for me for, for whatever reason. Pink salt, okay, Himalayan salt, to maybe a cup of borax, okay, and then one cup of bicarb, okay that concoction together mix that all up and chuck that in a in a, a a warm bath as 